we know that uh, happiness is the journey we are going through to achieve our goals. Now, the question I have today is, how happy are you of your day so far? I have to say that when we have a journey and we know where we're going, uh, this is when we tend to be the happiest because uh, we have uh, a goal that is towards our vision. And even if we have little things here and there, little obstacles, little ups and downs, if we are keeping our goals at the forefront, those little things don't change very much. Now we have to keep in mind that when we're happy, usually it is because we're in a place where we have wins and we are feeling great with ourselves. We have to keep in mind that if we have a vision and we are happy in our vision, this is the best way to be at peace with ourselves as well. If we don't have a vision and we just have little wins here and there or big wins, at some points it might feel empty for you. So my suggestion is on this, if you have a vision and you are outlining little steps towards your vision and you are succeeding in achieving those steps and those mini goals, you notice that your journey will be the happiest because every time you have a win, you'll be feeling happy to be one step closer to where you want to go. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alain Faber and we are on a growth mindset journey. You're here because you want to grow as a person, because you want to achieve more, and you know that with a vision, you can make the world a better place. I remember when I was a geologist and that we were going through uh, a project. I remember that uh, we always had the end goal with uh, what we wanted to have. So we were looking for a mine that had, if I remember well, a million, uh, at least a million ounces, which means that we wanted to have 0.1 ounce for 10 million uh, ton ore body. Now, what is interesting is to be able to achieve there. I've done hundreds of kilometers of hiking, mapping, diamond drilling uh, supervision, um, core sampling. I also got wet, worked in the rain, I felt my feet were frozen, my fingers were frozen, stuck in skidoos. Uh, but on the other hand, I was able to see beautiful uh, natural environments. I could see that uh, our country is full of amazing natural resources. Now, I know that even though there were a lot of ups and downs in me trying to look for that, uh, that, that possible mine, uh, knowing what the end goal was, was the best way for me to stay focused. Because uh, when a project would come my way and it was not, it did not have the potential of what I was looking for, I was giving a chance for other people to take care of the project. Whereas when something was closer to what I was looking for and we were doing the work, we had one vision in mind. And it helped because when you have a vision, you know that whatever you're trying to do is towards a goal could be your personal goal, it could be a goal for your company or for your family, depending of the situation. So I've learned quite a bit about geology because at the end of the day, uh, if you have a company or if you have a person, if you want to take care of your growth mindset, you need to have a vision. And once you have a vision and you're walking towards that vision, you'll notice that you'll be happier. You'll be happier because you will enjoy the journey towards that vision because whatever advancement you make towards that vision will be positive. If you do all kind of things, busy work that is not towards your main goal, you feel that you're wasting your time, you feel, you feel that not satisfied, you feel empty, you feel busy, but it's not going to be the ultimate goal, which is to have a healthier life mentally, emotionally, and physically. And that's uh, part of where happiness is important. Remember the last time you picked up a book? It could be a novel or nonfiction, and you learn something new, either through the relationship between two characters or you learned about a new leadership concept. The idea here is learning that uh, you make your own, that makes you a stronger person towards your goal is always going to be the best way to be happy. 
In my classroom, keep in mind that there are different kinds of students. Some students are aiming to pass, other people are aiming to get 98%, other people are aiming to enjoy themselves. And ultimately, what we want is all of them to learn. We, some of them are excellent to memorize and get to know the concepts and they get it quite nicely and quite quickly. Other people, they need to do hands-on activities. That's the only way they will remember. And for the others that just want to pass the course, keep in mind that once you figure out what they like, what makes them happy, you can always find tricks for them to enjoy the class. And most of the time, by the end of the semester, they're doing more than passing. They are enjoying the learning, but also the success they've encountered in a class. It's the same for you. I would love if you could put in the comments below where you've been the happiest in the last, uh, in the last year related to uh, activities with your family, personal goals that you've been uh, focusing on, or your growth mindset that you've been expanding in the last few months. Now, here are the three tips for you. The first one, you'll need your agenda because you know that I love writing down in a journal what we're doing. The first one is for you to write down where you've been happy in the last, last week or so. I want you to say uh, maybe wins that you've encountered, uh, realizations, something that you've learned that at the end of the day made you feel happy. The reason why I want you to write it down is my second tip is to appreciate what you have done, appreciate your happiness. Because too often we are very busy and we are happy for a moment and then we go on to the next one. We need to appreciate and take the time to be happy where we are and with what we're achieving. Because once we are acknowledging our wins and our happiness, then we can understand better what makes us happy and we can use that energy to visualize uh, future happiness, future success, future learning. And that is very powerful. The third tip I have for you is about the fact that I want you to give yourself the permission to be happy about who you are. That will be the first key point because think about it. If you are taking a moment in front of a mirror and look at yourself, say, okay, what makes me happy? Or today I am very happy. It will give you the permission to be happy. Too often we say we'll be happy when this is done. We'll be happy once we achieve this goal. But if you realize that happiness is from our journey, happiness should be enjoying the little moments that are occurring every day, many times a day. And you'll notice that uh, in life, I believe it is be better for you to be happy for maybe 10 times in a day, but shorter time than being happy, have a great happiness over two days. And the reason but that happens very seldomly, because what we remember is how we feel. And if we are feeling happy many times a day, it will keep us happy in a deeper level than if we are happy once a year for three days, because we will also have in our minds that there are many times in the year it was harder. Now, I'm not saying that you need to stop evolving and stop your growth mindset journey. What I'm saying is give you permission to be happy for who you are. And now we have our call to action. I want you to apply one of the tips I gave today. I want you to take your agenda and I want you to write down, take a highlighter and highlight in the last week where you've been happy. What are the moments that made you happy, the achievements? Because I want you to um, look at them and appreciate, uh, first of all, the happiness you had. Second, I want you to see if you can find patterns or find how if there are specific topics, specific events that made you the most happy. And by doing that, I want you to see, okay, is there a way 
to plan situations, events, or uh, set up goals for next week that will ultimately assure you to have happy moments this week. Think about that. How Think about how powerful this is. You have uh, a chance to study what makes you happy. You are able to define your happiness. And then you can plan in the future most, more of those times, more of those events, more of those actions, more of those goals that will ultimately, without any doubt, give you happiness. Think about that. It's worth amazing because at that point, you'll be able to uh, feel interested, feel overwhelmed. No, you'll be able to feel that uh, uh, the... You'll be able to feel anticipation that there'll be two, three, ten times you'll be happy next week. That'll be amazing. You change, your life will change because of that. Thank you for being with me on this video on happiness. Don't forget to uh, click and uh, subscribe to this uh, channel. I'm going to put here a link to my playlist on uh, my best life journey on health. And you'll have a chance to see other videos. I'll see you in the next one.